Sophie, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, um, my name is Sophie. I run a small business called Sophie in Somerset, based in the southwest of England. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, so I am a traditional artist and I uh, make products from my art, largely stationary um, products. And at the beginning of this year, well, around May time, I opened my Etsy store and now I'm getting ready to do my very first art market slash craft fair, whatever you want to call it, um, which is very, very exciting. Um, so just to catch you up, I am currently on leave from my day job. Um, we recently welcomed home a little boy through the UK um, adoption process. Um, he's 15 months now. Um, so you get a year's leave and I'm using this year to try and realise my dreams of being a full time artist and ultimately the goal is to stay home with little man rather than having to go back to work so that is the journey that I'm documenting here on YouTube I'm so glad that you could join me thank you for clicking on this video so there is a lot to get into this video um, next weekend it's going to be my very first craft fair slash art market whatever you want to call it I'm very very excited very very nervous though and you know when something seems so far off like I booked it so long ago like oh yeah I've got ages away and now I'm realizing it's next weekend and I've got so much to do by the way if you hear some noise in the background little man is just going down for a nap and um, he's not quite asleep yet so if you hear a little chattering um a few whines that's what it is um anyhow so I've got so much to do so my plan is I need to get some art prints made because I'm making my first art print. So I bought some. If you watched my last studio vlog, um, let me put this here. Um, I ordered some A4 sew bags, some grey board, and then I also got this um, 265 GSM um, photo satin paper. So it's got like a sheen on one side. So this is what I'm going to use for my, for my art prints. So I need to print those off. Also, I printed off a load of, um, this is on sticker paper. So some of these will be free stickers um, because as well as doing a um, art market, I'm getting ready for my winter shop update on Etsy. Um, so these are going to be kind of free stickers. Um, but I've also done some other stickers um, just on this sticker paper here. Um, generally I outsource for most of my vinyl stickers but these ones I'm thinking of using to decorate um, some tree baubles and some snow globes which um, I ordered in the last vlog which came from Baker Ross and um, we unboxed we well I should I think I unboxed them off camera but I did show you in the last vlog so um, I'm going to link the last vlog in the cards at the end of this video because there's quite a lot of stuff that links on from last time um, but basically, my rambly way of saying, next job is to get the art prints done and the snow globes and the tree decorations because this weekend, um, this will this Saturday, I want to get everything together, look at what my inventory is like um, and like stuff like float, make sure my card machine's working, different stands for the art market. I want to get everything together and see what I've got and get ready for it basically. Because on Sunday, I am going to a pumpkin pumpkin walk I think it's called um so if you watch my last video you'll know that um a local artist friend of mine Jill um she bought five sticker packs off of me my autumn sticker packs um and not only did she buy five packs she invited me to come along to the event that she's running to run one of the craft acti activities and I could choose whatever craft activity I wanted um which is amazing very again very very nerve-wracking I am an introvert this is kind of like my worst nightmare but equally great advertisement for my small business and for me as an artist it's quite surreal on the poster she wrote craft activity with local artist Sophie I'm like wow that's the first time I've seen my name attached to the word artist so that was quite surreal and pretty cool um so i'm going to be making um with people my pumpkin zen tangle bookmarks which is actually available as a digital download on my etsy store um so basically it's a zen tangle pumpkin that i drew um and put on these bookmarks that you can cut out color in and you kind of stick them together and put like a ribbon through so super simple craft but we're going to be outside in the park um it's going to be four to 
4 to 5 p.m. So it's going to be pretty cold, getting a bit dark. So if you want an easy craft activity, so I'm going to be doing that. So I will try and film a few bits. My husband's come along with our little boy. Um, so I'll try and get him to film a few bits um, so that it could be on the vlog. So that's this Sunday. So this Saturday is going to be dedicated to getting the craft stuff ready. And then next Saturday is the craft market. So I'm going to be documenting all the run up to it. And then afterwards, I'll share how it went and hopefully we make the table money back i think the table was about 40 quid so i need to sell a fair bit and it's my very first art market so i don't really know i don't really know what's gonna sell and things like that um and of course after that we need to get ready for the winter update on etsy so lots of things happening i've been rambled on long enough um so let's get the art prints done first and let's have a look at how we're going to use tree decorations to snow globes i've never done them before I'm not really sure how they're going to work i hope they're going to work because I wanted something more Christmas, Christmassy on my table rather than my just my general stationery. So um, let's get straight to it. Christmas decorations and complete them so I've now got 14 snow globes honestly they took forever to fill with water but we've done it we've done it 14 snow globes and I've got now got four of those see-through ornaments um, which I showed you so I've got the wreath the robin 
the Zentangle Snowflake and the Zentangle Reindeer. So they're all done. Now I also did do the other ball balls. I'm not happy with them. I'm not happy enough with them to sell them. I think I underestimated what it would be like to put stickers on round ball balls. In hindsight, I should have probably known they wouldn't look the greatest. Um, but I thought they would look good enough, but good enough is not good enough. Um, so this is kind of just how they turned out. They look amateurish. Um, and I know it's hard because the Christmas decorations, they're not the main focus of my store. I'm a stationery shop. I love doing my prints, my art prints, my postcard prints, my bookmarks, my stickers. Um, but because I'm doing Christmas craft fairs, I want there to be at least something Christmassy there. Um, so, it, you know, it's not the be all and end all. I'm not expected to sell out of all of them, but I want to at least be happy with what I'm producing. And like these ones, it's just, look, you can see all the bubbles on there. It just didn't work. So these are going. Goodbye. Um, but what I did find, I went to a couple of charity shops the other day. I didn't film it because I didn't, it was just like me and the little man going out for a walk and I'd see if I could find some winter clothes for him in the charity shops. Um, but what I did find was this big bag of um, Christmas decorations for £1.50. And they're all, I haven't opened them up yet, but you can see they're all different coloured parts. So, um... They haven't got any string in them, so I need to restring them. I thought these would be good because A, they are on brand, they're pink. Most of my um, aesthetic is pink. Um, B, they're flat, so the stickers will stick better to them. And I think they look quite cool. And C, because they're heart shaped, if you don't want to use it for a Christmas decoration, if you just want to use it around your studio, then you can. I um, mean, like I've got, for instance, I've got this little hanging rainbow. Um, like kind of macrame rainbow here and I picked that up with a load of Christmas decorations now obviously it's not a Christmas decoration well does it have to be a Christmas decoration I have it up all year round so it gives that kind of option um, and I've got a white I don't know if you've seen them those like white twig trees from Hobbycraft I actually had it at my wedding it was part of our wedding decoration and I going to reuse it that's quite sweet to use, reuse it I'm going to hang the decorations on there so I'm going to do it least this is the next task but before we do that I've got some happy mail that I want to show for you with you I have um just cut the slides but I haven't unwrapped the thing um let me just cover the address but if you um follow her on YouTube or Instagram you will know this is well, it says Fauna Rose there, but you'd be able to tell from the Happy Mail sticker. So it's Fauna Rose. So as you can tell, I have to tie my hair up every day because I have a baby who loves to grab hair. Um, but I have I use this massive clip. I don't know if you can see it. And it just gives me headaches. I just really wanted a really soft, scrunchy, but I've got quite thick hair. Um, and I wanted to order some of her XL scrunchies. I have lately been binging her YouTube vlogs um so let's have a look so i haven't unwrapped the thing so i've ordered two scrunchies and a mystery pack um i love her brandings there they are thank you thank you for your support it means the world to me and i've got her business card here and then these are all of her socials if you want to go and check her out she is so good and i just love how honest she is on her vlogs um, about what it's like to run a small business. So, I've got those. Let's do this mystery pack first. So, the mystery pack is only £2 for a mystery pack. Um, no waste mystery scrunchie pack. Um, I just love the idea of it. So, let's open it up and see what I've got. Um, oh, wow. Oh, like this is perfect. So, it's not an XL um, scrunchie, it's a mini. But, I don't know if I can, how can I get it to show you? It's tigers. Can you see that? Look how cool that is. And it's so funny because I was, I didn't have much money to spend. I would have spent a lot more if I could. Um, so I could order new, order to order two scrunchies and a mystery pack. But I was really wanting the leopard print scrunchie. Um, but I just couldn't. I, I couldn't have enough money to do that as well as the other two that I wanted. So I decided to forgo the leopard print, but as you can tell, 
I'm a leopard print girl. But to have this, because it's, so, it's the same colours, very autumnal, but to have like a tiger on it, this is so cool. So thank you so much. And then let's look at the two scrunchies that I did order. I just love the packaging. So she's really eco-friendly. This um, brown tape you can like recycle and this is like biodegradable tissue, I believe. Which is really cool. Oh, I don't want to ruin it. Which is why I'm taking so long to open it. <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> These are even more beautiful than I imagined they would be. Look how shiny they are. Can you, it, like, this is not doing it justice, how beautiful the fabric is. And it's got a little Fauna Rose label. <gasps> Look how... Well, they're XL, so you'd hope them to be a bit, bit big. But, oh my goodness. These are gonna be beautiful. I love this. Is this is my color? This is this is my color, and I got this angel one as well. I love them. I love them so so much. Thank you, thank you very much. And it was super quick delivery. Like I literally only ordered it a couple of days ago, and it's here. So um, I cannot praise her service enough. And this is amazing, amazing quality well worth well worth the money but it wasn't even that expensive it was like eight pound for the xl i believe and like it was two pounds just for the um mystery bag which when they're handmade that's really not a lot at all and honestly the fabric is so so soft so thank you oh, i'm well happy with that right i need to get on with it because it's friday so tonight because of course at the moment it's it's the week so i've been doing little bits um either in the evening when little man's sleeping or at his nap times so this evening once he's gone to bed i'm going to do those christmas decorations i'm going to try and get all of them done um i'm not just going to do the christmas stickers i'm actually going to mix it up with some of my other stickers so um i've got some here like i've got yeah talk about leopards I've got my leopards here, like my Zentangle leopards that I might put on some. Because they're not just Christmas ornaments, I want people to get them all year round. Um, I've got some cats there. So I might put a few of those on some of the um, hearts as well, just to mix it up. So even if somebody, well, not everyone celebrates Christmas, you know, so um, hopefully to appeal to as many people as possible. So I'm going to do those this evening. And then tomorrow, because my husband only works Monday to Friday, so he's going to be off to help me with childcare. So tomorrow I want to go through all of my like inventory, um, see what stands I've got, um, sort out the float for the craft market, sort out the card machine. Um, so I'll try and film little bits of me getting that ready. And then on Sunday is the pumpkin festival walk thing where I'm leading the craft event so hopefully I'll try and get some clips for you there so Christmas decorations get ready for the craft market and then do the pumpkin festival and I'll probably catch up with you again on Monday where we're getting the last little bits ready like kind of like price lists um, I want to make up a little sheet of what stock I've got so that I can mark it off um, little odds and ends next week ready for then the craft fair on the saturday so it's next saturday the craft fair so um yeah and like i said after the craft market art market whatever you want to call it um i do want to share with you how much i made and what my thoughts were because i think that's really interesting it's something that i not every um small business shares that and i i get it because you know money is a it's a sensitive thing sometimes but i think it's important to share those things for other small businesses to know whether or not it's worth their investment um, so I want to be completely honest about how much it cost me and what I made. So if you want to look out for that, it will be right at the end of the video. So please, please stay with me. So um, let's get going on making those Christmas decorations, first of all. And um, I'll take you with me on the weekend.
hi guys um i'm actually sat on the floor in my living room bit of an unusual spot to talk to you but i just really want to quickly show it with you um some more happy mail that i just got and it's from pintad the designs as you can see i've already opened it because i just couldn't wait um i actually pre-ordered this item but first of all how cute is this little thank you card how beautiful is that stunning but it is the small business calendar i'm sure you've seen this on social media and because i pre-ordered it i got the cute little stickers um but it's got loads of people on the front that who have contributed so rebel jones design delhi's designs emily harvey art so many people you can see all of the different um months there and i just think it's so beautiful and i'm so happy to be able to buy this one because each of the artists get like a little um share of the income so yes i can't wait to put this up on my wall um so thank you very much and uh i just want to share that that's now available on um the shop i'll put pintada designs um instagram handle in the description so you can go on her link page and find where you can get your own copy so i'm so glad that's arrived um i'm sorry i didn't get many clips of the pumpkin walk but i didn't want to share any photos of children's children's faces um but it was a great event i was really really nervous um really self-conscious about the fact that i was being called as art artist i had a bit of like imposter syndrome going on um but it was great loads of people enjoyed the craft um, and I didn't realise, but the little sticker packs that Jill actually bought for me were for the prizes, which is really cool. So, um, so people have now got my sticker packs. Um, so I've done all the prep for um, the, the craft market this weekend. My brain is just so full of stuff. Um, again, sorry I didn't get very good clips of that, but I thought, oh, I'll just have the whole afternoon. I could do it really chilled. I'll listen to a podcast. No, I had like about two hours before my little boy had to go to bed which is why i was doing it in his room because it's the biggest room really to sort stuff out in um but it's done it's done so this week i'm concentrating on getting my etsy store looking lovely so obviously when hopefully when i give out the business cards um and they go to my etsy store it looks lovely and they might buy some extra things um so that's what i'm doing this week i'm not going to film any of that because it's really boring um but so next time I see you, we'll be at the craft fair. I'll try and get some clips. Um, my husband's coming along with me to help me because it's my first time using the card machine and all this kind of stuff. Um, so my parents, my lovely parents are having little man for the day. So my um, husband will be with me. So hopefully I'll get him to do some clips as well. And then I'll jump back on at the end to share with you how it went and hopefully how much we made. Hopefully it's a profit. Um, yeah i'm so so nervous to share my art with people for the first time and to be there in real time to see their reaction but uh let's see how we go i i, I am thinking that after i do my second craft market next month i might do a craft market vlog going more into detail about things that i do things i've learned and overall whether or not i think in-person events are worth it i might do that and maybe leave a comment down below if you want to see that video um but i will jump on at the end of this video just to give you um feedback on how it went so um i'll see you at the craft market <laughs> person craft market i'm so 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 proud of myself because as a massive introvert it's such a big thing to stand there behind my stall showcasing my art showing something that's personal to me and being there to witness people's reactions one thing putting it online um but being there to hear what people are saying about it um, so that was a massive, massive thing. Obviously, it's a massive thing to take out of my weekend as well. My weekend is the time that I spend with my family. My husband works full time. Um, it meant that my parents had to have our little boy for the day. So it was a day away from my little boy. Um, so it was a massive thing. And I'm so, so glad 
I did it. Having said that, um, I've always said that I'm going to be completely honest on this channel and I think it's really, really important because I think you watch so many different vlogs and some small businesses it just looks like sunshine and rainbows all the time and we know in reality that's not the case um, but it's hard to remember that when you're feeling really self-conscious and you're watching other people and they seem to be doing really, really well. Um, I only made £12. So I sold four items. I sold a double-sided art print, a bookmark and two snow globes, um, all to different people. So it's four different people, but £12 and the table cost me 40 So, and that's obviously not to take into account the money that it cost and the time to make those products. So I made a massive loss and I was really bummed out about it. But my husband was like, look, you did it. Again, like I said, it's a massive thing for me to do that. And also I learned so much just setting up the stall, learning things that I can improve on, um, talking to the other stall holders. That was massive. Talking to other artists is always inspiring. Um, but hearing from them, and they did say that it was a quiet market. Um, there was also, so it was in Wells in Somerset. And if you've been there, um, you might have known about the Bishop's Palace, which is a lovely Bishop's Palace. Um, they had their artisan market on, which is like really high end stuff. Um, and then last year they did put the craft fair on because the one I attended was a small craft fair in like the village hall. Well, it's, yeah, it's kind of a village hall um, in, in the high street. Um, and they did do it on the same day last year. And they said, actually, it worked out really, really well because a lot of people came from the Bishop's Pass to the Seeger Hall, which is where I was. Um, but this year the council stopped our little craft fair having advertisement out. So a lot of people didn't even know it was going on, which is really, really bad because um, the craft fair I attended was more small, low key, like a, a smaller event, like a smaller business who set it up. Um, so I don't think a lot of people knew it was on um, and they said it was a lot, lot quieter. Um, so I have to take that into account as well. And a lot of them said that, you know, it's just really unpredictable with markets. Some days you'll have your best day and other days, some of them said they haven't even made anything someday. So at least I, I made something. Um, but anyway, there's lots of things that I learned and I was going to do a separate video anyway, talking about the different um, kind of um, displays that I use and where I get them from and things like that and how I found the art markets that I'm doing. Um, so I'm still going to do that, but I'm also going to include the other things that I've learned because I literally learned so much. And I don't want anyone to just cram it in at the end of this video. I want to dedicate a whole separate video to it. And I am doing another um, market on the 2nd of December. So I'll probably learn more things then as well. So I'm going to put it all in one video, which is probably going to be coming out middle to end of December. Um, so if you don't want to miss out on that, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because I really want to share with you everything that I've learned. Like I said, talking to the other stall holders and actually doing an in-person market. And if not some of my mistakes, but things that I've learned, it can help you if you're going to do a market, if it's your first market, or if you've done several and you just want to learn from it or hear somebody else's experiences, I want to share that with you to try and help you guys. Um, so, so please stay tuned for that one. Um, because I really, and I'm going to be completely honest with you because I think that's really, really important. Um, so yeah, I didn't make much, but it was a worthwhile event. I'm so glad I did it. And the girl that bought my double sided art print, it was the mushroom Zentangle print, which I love anyway. And she said to me, she said, she's just moved into a new house and she hasn't got any artwork on the wall and she wasn't wanting to buy stuff just for the sake of it just to fill the wall she wanted to wait until something spoke to her and she said that my artwork spoke to her and to be honest money aside obviously that does have to play a part in it of course um but money aside it was worth doing the art market just to hear that to hear someone's reaction to it um so that literally made my day so um i did give her my business card and told her about my socials and things so if you're watching thank you so much to know that my art spoke to you that's my reason that's my reason for doing it so thank you so so much so if you're considering doing an art market do it do it because um if you can afford to do it because 
just to have that kind of feedback it's now lit a fire in me and I'm so excited to create more products and the good news about you know not everything selling off my stool is that I have more stuff to put on my Etsy store for my winter shop update because I was a bit worried that my new products because I launched them exclusively at the art market um some of the projects that's going to be coming to Etsy um and now I have more stuff to put on Etsy which is brilliant so as you're watching it this video should go out on Saturday the 11th of November at 5 p.m today Saturday the 11th of November my winter shop update is coming live to Etsy um I will put the link in the description but it's just Sophie in Somerset um, my shop on Etsy and there will be memo pads my very first memo pads my very first holographic sticker will be on there a load of digital downloads for the Christmas season um, especially if you run a youth group or a Sunday school and stuff like that I think they'll be really useful for you um, some winter daily planners weekly planners and um, to-do lists and also I am launching mystery packs there'll be mystery sticker packs and mystery stationery packs in the sticker packs, you will get three random stickers from anywhere in my range. Um, they'll be chosen at random. And if you've ordered from me before, I will do my best to make sure you don't get any items that you've previously bought. So hopefully you won't get any duplicates. And in the stationery pack, you will get a postcard art print, a bookmark and a sticker. And I'm also releasing some bundles. So the designs that feature on different products within my store, so if they're on a bookmark, a sticker or a print, I'm going to put them in bundles, um, which will be cheaper to buy as a bundle than it would be to buy the individual items. So I'm going to be launching those as well. So lots of exciting things. Please, I will be so grateful if you go and check it out. Every you know, view, like, comment, purchase really makes a difference to me. And as I always say, I'm trying to not only realise my dreams of being a full time artist, but be able to earn enough money to stay at home with my little boy. So it really does mean the world. So thank you so much for all of your support. Um, like I said, I am going to be doing a separate video with everything I've learned from the art market. Um, things I can learn from kind of advice from the other stool holders, things like that. So please stay tuned for that. Please like and subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on that one um the next video to come on this channel will be a sketchbook tour because i just finished a recent sketchbook when i was doing the peachtober prompts so that will be coming next and then we've got all the fun stuff around christmas and i'll be able to share with you how my winter update went so thank you so so much for watching i'm gonna love you and leave you now and uh yeah have a lovely weekend or week whenever you're watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. God bless. Love you. Bye.